Hi, Steve Rossi here. I had five guys today. It's not my usual indulgence, but I had five guys today, and it was okay. Um, it wasn't amazing. I don't know why you can't make everything amazing when you're making a burger. Maybe they need more guys. Nine guys. I wonder how many guys you could put in the title before people stop going there. Fifty-five guys. So I had my first experience today with 55 guys. Now you couldn't probably fit that in that kitchen. But you could definitely fit a lot more than five. I'm so sorry, Mr. Rossi. Your order not ready yet? I didn't order yet. I didn't order yet. Don't be sorry already. Everyone's sorry. You don't get, can't get anything done because everyone's sorry. The only answer to like a phone company or a cable company when they say I'm sorry is that is unacceptable. Or you apologize back. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. And they just keep working the problem. Like like detectives do when they do interrogations. They don't listen to the perp talk about, you know, man, I actually am honest and I feel well, I never am believe it. They just keep going with the with with the, the, the script. They stick to the script. And that's how I'll be. That's who I am on the phone. I, 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 I piss off customer service agents like you wouldn't believe. But only because I'm trying to get to the top, to the best, to someone that can actually help. Clerks deserve it. What's George Carlin already said that. Clerks have a little neutral zone. And they uh, you get, sometimes you have to mess with a clerk. Um, these aren't clerks per se, but they're kind of like modern day clerks. I'm Mr. Rossi. For your convenience, we took away all your minutes and replaced them with nothing for your convenience. Thank you, Mr. Rossi. Mr. Rossi is my future son's name. Call me Steve. Or call me angry. Call me Mr. Angry. I'm the angriest guy that deals with you. I know you keep all the notes on me, but I get everything done. That's why I get to the top. I get to the top and I get the stuff done that I need to with the phone company. I know you. I know it. I record them, too. And they, they, this phone call may be tra call recorded for training. My phone calls are recorded for my own training. I record any important phone call. And then halfway through or after like an hour, if you really know you're not getting them anywhere, you tell them and you play it back to them. You play themselves back to them and they go berserk. Oh, Mr. Rossi, you can't do that. Oh, suddenly I'm Mr. Rossi. Mr. Rossi, whatever happened to Misa? Misa Rossi. Uh, and I did it. So what do you mean I can't do it? It's done. And now I'm going to put it on YouTube for no one to watch. But it's done. Oh, Oh, Mr. Rossi. Don't worry, you're going to be a YouTube sensation. That's what I want to be referred to in life, is a sensation. Oh, I got my parents banned from Tinder. Now, that's an interesting story, but for another time. Because right now, I'm going to tell you about all the socks I threw away and why I did it. The reason is, I thought a girl might come over and realize some of my socks were not perfectly matched. That's the reason I thought maybe someone might come over, open a drawer, measure the socks, and realize some were longer than the others that had been worn more. So I woke up last night, took a shower to wake myself up real good, and I threw away my socks. I felt great. It felt like it was done. Took another shower back to bed. Not that socks are dirty. It's all the... Ugh. Shut up, Steve. Now I think is a good time for it. Shut up, Steve. I had one more story in me, but I think I'm going to shut up. And no material has come from this yet, I don't think. Has there been anything funny that I can work out? Um, no. No. One day I, I... Wow, that came out of my mouth weird. One day I will meet a girl who doesn't care about socks. Do I want to meet a girl that doesn't care about socks? I don't even know what I want these days. Everything is so confusing. If I could just get some answers from the world. Why, oh why? Oh, my writer's block.